before we wrap this up, what what gives you the most joy and satisfaction at the end of the day? I think the I look at the role I play more like a mentor or a coach would. And what does a coach aspire to see? Like to see, like to see the team win. So, so that's what gives me joy to see the teams that we work with win in the marketplace and they actually make progress and they grow up themselves as leaders and they grow other leaders and it becomes like a upward cycle and self-fulfilling prophecy. Those things really bring joy and, and of course it's not a given, right? It, nothing is a given in this game. And we aspire every team that we invest in to do those things, become their own leaders, become their own coaches and mentors. Do some don't, but at the end of the day, that's what gives me joy to see when when an idea that you backed and worked on comes yes. to life and actually complete as you envisioned it would. Yes. And obviously, I teach. So as a teacher, you want your students to succeed and you want them to go and do bigger and better things. So those are the things that obviously we all aspire for, I think. Just like a parent or a teacher or a coach, we want the people we work with to win. So hopefully they win in the marketplace, to work in their life of life, and also contribute to the betterment of humanity. Because at the end of the day, we're not going to take anything with us. We got to leave something back. Thank you. Thank you, Bala, for sharing that. Like I also work with a lot of founders and leaders. And I think a key shift comes when the language changes from I, everything I am I, to either we or the customer, the economy, the society, and so on. I think that's what you are pointing towards. I think that's what you were, you started with servant uh-huh. leadership. Absolutely. Is that shift, mm-hmm. that focus more than the activity. I think it's a focus. It's where you're putting your attention, yep. whether it's me, how am I acting or is it helping? Am I contributing? Am I coming in the way? So thank you for sharing that. I think that's beautiful for anybody who is listening and especially since you like tied it with joy and satisfaction. I think it, it's sure. a very good place to end our conversation today. Yes, thanks yeah. again. Uh, thanks for having me and thanks for doing what you do because I really do think that we need more of yeah. common people doing leadership things, talk about these things because that's how we get inspiration and then we go on to do bigger things. That's how we change the course of history, maybe for the better. Absolutely. 